How to submit a recycling plan in Oakland, California. After you've created a Green Halo account, navigate to oakland.wastetracking.com, click login, enter your username and your password, click login again. It'll take you to the Green Halo landing page. Because you've already applied for a building permit, your project should already be assigned to you. If so, it'll be waiting for you here in the In Progress tab. If you click to In Progress and you don't see your project listed here, or if In Progress reads zero and you don't know why, send an email to recycling at Oakland oaklandca.gov and we'll help you some more. Once you see your project in In Progress, click the, the permit number. Enter your project information and your company's information in the fields provided so that you don't have to watch me type. I've already entered my information for this sample project. The system is going to require you to designate a project manager for your project. You can select yourself. The easiest way to get to the project manager page, because the page has a little bit of a bug here, is to click add slash edit, then click next step, and the system will automatically prompt you to add a project manager. Once you see the prompt, click OK and choose your project manager. You can choose yourself or if you want to designate to somebody else on your team to manage this, enter their information here and then click Add User. They'll pop up up top and they'll be designated as the project manager. Add or edit any subcontractors that you intend to use for materials that are going to be recycled here as well, and then click Next Step. The system will take you here to Materials Selection. You'll see there are a lot of rows for various materials that can be generated as waste in a project. For each type of waste that you expect to generate in your project, enter the appropriate tonnage or cubic yardage uh, in the appropriate row for reuse, recycle, or dispose. I'm going to select tons. As we start, it's important to, to note that materials like wood and metal, as well as uh, easily recycled materials uh, like asphalt, gravel, uh, sand, so stone, and clean soil should be separated to the greatest extent possible so that your plan can meet the required recycling requirements for our jurisdiction. Hauling those together in a pile will cause them to be processed as mixed C and D, and this can prevent you from meeting minimum, minimum requirements. Some mixed C and D is often inevitable, but plans that only list mixed C and D will be rejected in the preliminary phase, and plans with, with too much mixed C and D may fall below requirements. I'm going to enter my mixed C and D here, and I'm going to move down the, the, the line, entering my projected recycling tonnage for each of the materials that I expect to generate. Materials like asphalt and other inerts, I'm going to always recycle. Metal is always a key uh, material. Separating as much metal as possible, as well as wood, will help you to meet the uh, recycling minimums for our jurisdiction. I'm going to add some deconstructed and reuse items. These go in my yellow reuse column. This includes appliances, uh, cabinets. Uh, the more that I can divert in the beginning and plan to reuse, uh, donate, or salvage for future projects, uh, the better my totals are going to be and my percentage for my recycling uh, rate. Be sure to enter any non-recoverable materials and hazardous waste here 
These materials will not affect your recycling rate and will not affect whether your recycling plan is approved. However, it is important that you list them here in the disposal column. Once all your materials are entered, click Next Step. You'll arrive at the method of transport, the transporter method. Residential property owners and their general contractors may haul construction and demolition debris using their own fixed body trucks and employees using the self-haul option. Selecting this option means that no trailers or debris boxes can be used. To hire a trailer or a debris box or a demolition or hauling service, click debris box slash roll off service and select a company from the list that pops up. All of these companies have a non-exclusive franchise agreement. I'm going to click that I understand that I need to holler, hire a hauler with a non-exclusive franchise and click next step. Under facilities selection, for each material that I entered, in uh, material selection, I'm going to select a facility for disposal. Whenever possible, select a facility with a high re recycle rate. Also, select always select facilities that you can reasonably get to. When recycling materials like asphalt, uh, concrete, and other inerts, uh, it's important to select facilities that have a recycling rate of 95% or higher. When, when selecting facilities for reuse materials. We can choose donate, reuse on site, or salvage. I'm going to reuse on site. Clean wood is a key material to, to separate and recycle whenever possible. When bringing to large facilities like the Davis Street Transfer Station, it's important to ensure that this material is processed uh, separately and not as mixed C and D. One way that some plans fall below the required recycling rate uh, is that materials like wood are processed as mixed C and D by accident. All hazardous materials uh, require terms and conditions be read and approved. The disposal of hazardous materials, again, does not affect recycling rate. And these, these materials, uh, like pressure treated wood, cannot be recycled. That's OK. These aren't going to affect our plan. We're just going to select a facility and click Next Step. Here at the last screen, complete and review. Before we click submit for approval, click project statistics. Scroll down until you see this row. This row is essential for uh, meeting our required recovery rate. Our estimated inerts recovery rate needs to be at 95% or higher. Our estimated non-inerts recovery rate needs to be at 65% or higher. If your estimated non-inerts recovery rate is below 65%, look for ways to separate more easily recyclable materials like wood and metal and navigate back to material selection. And adjust as necessary.
click next step and ensure that, that the facility facilities you've chosen are recovering those materials at a high rate. My project fell below the required limit because I chose a facility with a low rate of recovery on my metal. When I switch to a facility with a high rate of recovery, my non-inert non recovery rate is going to be fixed. Navigate back to project statistics. Confirm that your estimated inerts is above 95 and your estimated non-inerts is above 65. Once this is confirmed, click Submit for Approval. Scroll down, read the terms and conditions, click the box that says you read it, enter your name, enter your title, and click Submit Project for Approval. says you can't turn back, click OK, and look for the confirmation message. When you see this message, your plan has been submitted. Within three to five days, our team will review your plan uh, and notify you whether it's been approved. Look for a uh, notification email. If you don't see the email, simply log back in at oakland.wastetracking.com and check the status of your project.